everybody, welcome back. Uh, here's our principle of the week. Uh, we've talked about evasive movement, then we talked about evasive movement using your offensive stuff at the same time. Uh, on this level, what we're doing is we're trying to also get ourselves used to intercepting the attacks that are coming at us. So instead of just evading now, I'm gonna also try to counterattack at the same time. Uh, with an interception, the way I, I define it is my defensive counterattack happens at the same time that she thought she was gonna be hitting me, okay? Uh, it's a little different than a counter. If, uh, if Emmy, Emmy throws a punch at me and I go one, two, that's kind of like a counter, right? If I'm doing an interception, at that moment that she thought she'd be hitting me, I want something to be hitting her. It can be, there's a lot of different ways you can do interceptions. Um, for now, as you guys evade and stuff, we're gonna start trying to get used to, while we're evading, also throwing those punches. Uh, if you like to cover or block or whatever, it can happen at the same time, uh, simultaneous stuff. You can also use the legs. If she throws a punch high, I could be getting back and trying to attack underneath. But um, adding this, getting the timing down on this is really good because we kind of mentioned the um, we kind of mentioned that gear shift in your head between offense and defense. An interception is a really great way to kind of take uh, take your opponent off their game because at the moment they thought they'd be hitting you, if you can strike them, you'll see that stutter step in their head. There's not a lot of people train for this, and then that gives you a chance to enter and do some of your combinations and stuff. So we're gonna watch, uh, I mean, I'll do it a little bit where um, when she feeds me an attack that I'm evading, I'm gonna try to intercept as much as I can and train myself to include my offensive counter strike in my defensive movement. So let's see what that looks like. And here we go. That's a little bit of a, adding a little intercepting to the evasive movement. Okay, and finally with this guy, one of the things, if you get to where you're pretty good at interceptions, you want to use those moments to come in. So now, as the trainer, when Emmy feels a good interception, she's going to feed me right away for a combination or a single attack because I want to intercept and then come right back in. Okay, so we're going to look at that next. That's kind of like the next level for this thing. Again, if you can get the timing down on these things, it will really help you as a fighter and you're sparring, uh, if you can get this down, if you're fighting in the cage or whatever, it's a really good thing to do. If you can get that timing down, it'll really help you out in a lot of situations. So we're gonna watch this now. When I get a successful interception, my trainer is gonna feed me a combination or some kind of attack. Because I wanna use that moment of surprise where you get that kind of stutter step in their head to throw some damage in there their way. So let's check that out. my brain to be able to respond randomly in combat because it's kind of how a fight's going to go. I like doing drills on the pads too where you specifically say what's going to happen but for helping you out as far as reaction time goes um, I find that this is super helpful. Uh, drills where you're like okay we're going to do roundhouse kick, jab cross, hook cross, duck cross, you know any kind of thing like that where you set it I think really helps your form but the focus pads can really help you with your sparring as long as you practice random. So let us know what you think, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask. Even if you have any snarky comments, we always like to hear those too. Everybody, happy training. Like us on Facebook, and we'll see you next week.